Hi there, students. A few land words for you. Landlocked, um, landlubber, uh, landfall, and then landlord or landlady. Okay, so landlocked. Landlocked is an adjective that describes a country that doesn't have access to the sea. So, for example, um, Switzerland is landlocked. There's land or countries all, of, all the way around it. Yeah, so um, a landlocked country is never going to be a great sea power. Okay, so somewhere that's landlocked. I think Luxembourg is landlocked or Pakistan is landlocked. Um, okay, you can also use this word landlocked. Apparently the Americans use it in property, in real estate, for a property or a piece of land that's completely surrounded by um, other properties and doesn't have access to a public road, so with an access problem. So, landlocked, with land all the way around. A landlubber. I quite like this phrase. This is um, a, an insulting word that a seaman would use for somebody who um, doesn't know about the sea. Yeah, somebody who's um, unfamiliar with uh, the with, with the sea. Yeah, so um, we we went on a cruise and. Uh, all of the landlubbers were sick when the wind started to blow. Okay, so landlubber, it's a word saying this person has absolutely no idea what they're doing. Yeah, it's somebody who, um, uh, well, they, 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 they've never been to sea before or they have almost no experience of boats. Um, then we have landfall. Okay, landfall is a noun. Um, to make landfall. This is normally when a ship arrives at the shore. So the Pilgrim Fathers made land landfall at Plymouth Rock. Okay, it's where they arrived. Yeah, um, to make landfall is where a boat actually arrives um, at land. Or, for example, um, I believe Columbus uh, made landfall somewhere in the Caribbean or maybe in the D Dominican Republic. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's the first point uh, where um, a ship le uh, reaches land. You can also use this for um, a hurricane. The hurricane made landfall in Florida, went out to sea and made landfall again. Okay, so um, to make landfall, yeah, it's the arrival of a ship. I, get, I guess a spaceship could make landfall as well. Okay, so um, it says where, where something arrives. And then the landlord or the landlady. This is the person who uh, rents or leases property. Yeah, so you rent your flat from the landlord or from the landlady. Notice as well in Britain we use this the landlord or the landlady, meaning the owner or the manager of a pub. Yeah, so the landlord of the pub is the person who's in charge of the pub. Yeah, uh, I guess they probably it's probably they have to rent it from the brewery, and that's um, that's who the real landlord is. Okay, so let's see. Um, yes, land. This word land. Um, it comes from Proto-Germanic lander, meaning land, or Proto-Indo-European, lend, land, or a flat heath. Okay, and then um, landlocked. I think I would give this five, five and a half in formality. Um, something that's locked in land, it's completely surrounded. So Switzerland is landlocked. 
quote, a landlubber. I think this is more informal. I think I would give this a four in formality. Um, a landlubber, somebody who doesn't know about the sea and ships. Um, it may come from old French, lobeur, a swindler. Yeah. OK, but a landlubber, somebody who's clumsy with the sea. They're a novice sailor. They don't know what they're doing. And then um, landfall. Five, five and a half in formality to make landfall. This is where the, the ship or a hurricane arrives. And then the landlord. Yeah, five in formality. Use anywhere as well. It's the lord of the land, effectively. Yeah, the uh, person who owns it. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Landlocked, landlubber, uh, landfall, and landlord and landlady.